this episode of the A to Z of Hutton Space, we look at the third member of the Hutton Wolf Pack, Wolf 1481. When viewed from Sol, it sits in the constellation Libra, some 20 light years distant, also appearing in the Gleesey catalogue, amongst many others, as Gleesey 555. Just like 70% of the stars in the galaxy, it is an M-type red dwarf, just over two-fifths of the mass of Sol. Max Wolf catalogued over 1,500 stars and thousands of asteroids in his career, and so Wolf 1481 is pretty much near the end of that extensive list. In fact, he catalogued more stars using astrophotography than the rest of his contemporaries combined. Who knows what he would have made of the modern techniques of digital quantum photography and hollow imagery. At only 2 billion years old, Wolf 1481 is a relatively young system. Just think, when this system was still a rotating cloud of interstellar gas, early life on Earth had been evolving into short pants for almost 2 billion years. For a red dwarf, Wolf 1481 is a relatively large system and is dominated by seven gas giants. Even the icy bodies are enormous. Two in particular are 18 and 32 Earth masses, with gravities of 2.5 and 3.5, so it's probably lucky you can't land on them lest the obvious calamity occur. Wolf 1481 is probably best known in Hutton circles as the go-to bounty hunting system as it has so many gas giants with rings, resource extraction sites, and a seemingly unlimited supply of pirate scum to ventilate. Additionally, these pirate-infested resource sites can be found just over 600 light seconds from the jump point, so are not only convenient to get to, but for a red dwarf system, are surprisingly well lit, so you can easily see who you're turning into space confetti. In addition, Velasquez Gateway, which has large pads for you Corvette and Cutter Commanders, sits under two light seconds from the closest rest sites in the rings of the first gas giant, allowing commanders to pop out for a spot of post-lunch pew-pew and still be back in the station in time for repair, restock tea and medals. Being hot and controlled, you can cash in your bounties at Velasquez or turn them in at another Hutton system that has fewer anti-piracy opportunities. Velasquez isn't particularly well equipped, so if you find your hard points in need of a tweak, hop over to Wolf 562, a high-tech system, only one jump next door, even in that short-legged tank of a Corvette you fly. Wolf 1481's population of 21.23 million makes it the 8th most populated system in hot and space, only a million fewer than LP245-10. Given the proximity to so many rings and with most of the satellites being landable, the system economy is based around mining, refining and primary industrial manufacturing. In addition to the large pads at Velasquez Gateway, a Hutton controlled Coriolis station, commanders can access two non-Hutton outposts, Seddon Station and Jones Orbital, which sit further out at 1700 and 3000 light seconds respectively. Further large pads can be found at Levinson Arsenal, a surface starport 3000 clicks out, which has a military market. With the exception of Velasquez Gateway, the principal system asset, the other three starports are controlled by Wolf 1481 Resistance. Surely they realise that this is futile, and sooner or later they will all fall under Alvin's benevolence.